my perception of what occurs in the ocean has changed significantly ever since the first time I flew my drone over the water. I never imagined I'd see dolphins and white sharks together so often. Here's one of the latest shark and dolphin encounters. They are on a direct path toward each other. And much like we humans do on a busy sidewalk, they just pass each other, seemingly unfazed. It may be accurate to say that sharks and dolphins coexist in Southern California waters. In fact, one could say they get along more than many humans do on a sidewalk. I've often filmed white sharks in many different scenarios, sometimes near people, sometimes near foreign objects. In my observations, the white sharks tend to be rather curious animals. So curious that I could almost predict with certainty that a white shark would appear at the next scene. This is a boat that unfortunately ran aground. It made quite a mess on the beach. You can actually see the spilled fuel at the top right of this frame. The boat spread trash and debris all along the coast. It was not a pleasant sight. Many humans grew curious about the scene, but as I flew the drone, I knew it would only be a matter of time before other animals might show up curious as well. So I scanned the area nearby. I initially did not see any white sharks. And I waited. And eventually, a white shark appeared. And it was curious. Unfortunately, however, it was swimming in the spilled fuel of the boat. It really bothered me to see this. It was a reminder that the human footprint is everywhere. But not too long after, a cleanup crew showed up to begin the process of removing the leaking fuel. And as you can see here, they were oblivious to the white shark nearby. Eventually, the fuel was removed, but the tide had risen, and the boat began to break down. Still, the shark remained. Did the shark sense the disturbance on the shore? It does make you wonder how aware these animals really are of their surroundings. By the next day, the boat had succumbed to the sea further, breaking down into several pieces. Debris was further scattered along a two-mile stretch. One of the larger pieces ended up almost a half mile away near another beach. As you can see here, when I first arrived the day prior, the boat was intact a stark reminder of the force of the ocean. In only 24 hours, it was destroyed by the sea. While I filmed this event, I couldn't help but wonder how the white sharks could be affected by this. All the other homeowners in the area were certainly affected, but the ultimate homeowner continued on, unnoticed by most. What is noticed, however, are the signs. Shark signs are now found along many beaches in Southern California. While some people chose not to swim, most folks, like this father and son, chose to swim and surf, undeterred by the signs. And rightly so. Shark attacks in Southern California are extremely rare. And when I launch my drone, I often see why. Here's a flight I made near the father and son who were surfing. As I said, the shark signs are quite visible on the beach. And for good reason. Not far from shore and near the subjects is a great white shark. I often observe these sharks come close to shore and zigzag back out. It's a pattern I've become familiar with, one that can be seen here from above. Watch the father and his son closely as I lower the drone above the shark. 
they are aware my drone signals a shark is nearby. In fact, the father points it out right here. Watch closely as he makes the shark signal with his hand. A lot of folks ask me what the shark signal is. It's basically a gesture where you put your hand flat and vertically on your forehead to symbolize a shark fin. It's most often used by divers to hand gesture a shark nearby. And while this shark was nearby, at no point did it appear threatening. The father and son were keenly aware of my drone's position. Here's another clip, taken shortly after at the next beach over. It's amazing to see the clumsiness of the human next to a sleek, almost perfect animal of the water. The shark approached very closely and yet again became disinterested. The contrast of a human struggling to stay on a surfboard with a shark nearby, I found somewhat comical. And yet again, the incident passed with nobody harmed. As humans learn to coexist with these sharks in the water, lots can be learned by the scientists who evaluate this footage. Here's another surfer. This time, the shark is a little further away, but this encounter is unique for me. I was able to track down the surfer and speak to him. Here's that exchange. I filmed you next to a shark. Yeah. You gonna see it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you... <laughs> Do you, um, do you, you, did you see the shark sign when yeah. you guys came in? Okay, it didn't deter you at all? No. no. Calculated risk. <laughs> Calculated risk, okay. Most people, that's what they say. Show ya. So, you're at the top. Uh huh. You see the shark right at nine o'clock? Yeah. I Oh yeah, there it is. You see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. yeah. How big? Can I look? Ten footer? No. I'll no, no, no. This is uh, probably eight, okay. eight feet. Yeah. Can I look? Can I look? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Yeah, is that cool? Footage. Here, check it out. This is the video I showed him. I've definitely filmed closer encounters, but the fact that people swim knowing there is a shark nearby may indicate a greater respect for these animals in the water. It is a positive thing. There are millions of people in Southern California. It is now summertime. Many people will be in the water and learning to coexist with all sea life is vital to keeping the beauty of this coastline healthy, the beauty of this planet for that matter. And while incidents with sharks will inevitably occur, our impact on their environment is perpetually occurring. And even when accidents happen, like this boat run aground, when our footprint is unavoidably left behind, hopefully one can be reminded that something special lives just on the other side of those waves. This is a reminder that there is so much life beyond the one we enjoy here on land. For more information on how to swim safely in Southern California waters, please read the informative links I've included in the video description. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I've also included some links to organizations where you can get involved in helping to protect our sea life.